Well, Paul, how are preparations going for Saturday's opening fixture of the season? Everything's gone really well, touch wood. We've come through the pre-season pretty unscathed. Um, we've managed to get a lot of minutes into a lot of the players. Um, results have been good, so there's a lot of positivity around the dressing room. <clears throat> and you're coming up against a, a newly promoted side, so what sort of challenge will that pose? A really tough test, I think. The newly promoted teams, especially when they're on the back of multiple promotions, not just one. The reality is they're very used to winning, you know, so they'll come into the conference full of that exuberance. I think Mark's done an absolutely amazing job just for the people of Dorking as well, not just for the football team, because it gives them a real clear identity as a club now that in the National League. I'm sure they'll be looking at one day, obviously, trying to get out of that league, even into the big league. And we walk into a very, very tough test on Saturday, but it's one we're looking forward to. Now you've talked about how pleased you have been with uh, pre-season. What's pleased you most about the the setup? Just the general work ethic of the players. You know everything we've asked them to do, no matter how hard it's been, they've done it. They haven't looked sideways or backwards. They haven't questioned anything. They've done it. And you know, like we try and explain to the players, the modern day game now, you must be fit. If you're not fit, you won't survive at good levels of football. So the fitness is something that we can clearly have an identity with. We can work harder. Obviously, tactically, then it's up to us to give the players the information that we can see them go onto a pitch. One, enjoy the game. Two, more importantly, then have the ability to win the game. Now, it's easy to talk about all the new signings, but of course, the players who were here before, the you know, they've got a point to prove as well. Some come back revitalised, and you've revealed that Aquasi Asante has come off the transfer list. Yeah, Aquasi's come off the transfer list probably about two or three weeks ago. I didn't feel the need to, you know. To speak a lot about it, I think me and Kwasi have had some really good conversations. He's clearly enjoying his football. You can see that in how he's playing. You know that's there for all to see. So delighted with that. You know a lot of new signings. You know the end of last year it was it was tough because of the amount of injuries we've had. You know I've never been at a football club in my whole career with the amount of injuries this club had and why them injuries are. No one will ever know. Obviously a lot of it can be luck. It's misfortune. There's so many things. You know, but this year we wanted the players to really apply themselves into a, a fitness regime or a fitness camp that we, we think will stand them in good stead going into the season. The players who've had some long-term injuries, how are they progressing? Yeah, I think as everyone see, yeah, Tishmanga's come obviously on at four minutes at Boston on um, last Friday night. He's fit and ready and raring to go. All he's short of his minutes now, which he'll get over the next few weeks. Obviously, from there, I'm not too sure. Danny Rose now back with us, joined us on Tuesday of this week now with the all clear to resume training. But obviously, Danny will need a little bit of time to get up to speed. Uh, Manny on your leak, he's obviously got a, had a knee operation a period of time ago, so we won't be seeing Manny till possibly the new year. And that's really disappointing for Manny, you know, because as a young lad, he's suffered a lot, you know, with injuries and, you know, it's been a tough time for him. So, you know, apart from that, now we go into the season of the campaign. One or two little niggles and knocks and bumps and bruises, like every club will have had, but generally focused on trying to get three points at Dorking. Of course, uh, pre season is necessary to build it, but when it really matters, you know, Dorking, how much are you looking forward to the, to the start of the season now? That's a great game. It's a great game for Dorking, it's a great game for us. It's a really good fixture that probably has a little bit of everything. You know, where we are deemed to be one of the bigger clubs in the league, and rightly so. Talking on the back of their promotions, probably people will look at them with a little bit of disrespect now and again. They certainly won't be getting any disrespect from us, that's for sure. So it's a game where probably on the day, probably a lot of people who are involved in football would like to see Dorkin win. I'm certainly not one of them, unfortunately, for Mark and his team. I'd love Dorkin to play really well, but unfortunately get beat. So we just look forward to Saturday.